is Olivia Chen here again today for Her TV for Maka Minum Coffee. And today, as you can see, it's a bit rainy and it's a bit chilly. That means it's time for some piping hot food. This place is called the Taisho Yakiniku Japanese Barbecue. Got it? You want to repeat after me? Taisho Yakiniku Japanese Barbecue. But you know what? No matter what they're called, just follow my lead. Okay guys, pinch me because I'm dreaming right now. Coming from a gloomy, rainy weather and being here, serve a table full of Japanese goodies. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm going to introduce you the man who is behind all of this, Mr. Kitman. Hi, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Japanese BBQ. Thank you. Basically, uh, my shop here, you see do it yourself, barbecue. Uh, it's your own experience. It teaches you how to cook and also it gives you that kind of patience. Teaches me to cook? Yeah. Okay, I'm not a very good cook, admittedly, but I think I can barbecue a good meat. So what do you recommend I have first? Uh, as for a starter, you can have the fried kimchi uh, to open up your appetite first. And then from there, you move on to the meat. And then after that, we have our Genghis Khan here. It's one of our famous dish. Uh, it's a mix of cabbage and uh, lamb shoulder meat. And then with our sauce as well, our secret sauce, that what makes our food great. <laughs> so this is partially cooked, so now we are sort of trying to cook it properly here. And then once it's done, you can eat it already. So wait a minute, this is supposed to be a Japanese restaurant, but you yes. have Genki's Khan here. Um, there's a story behind it, because uh, last time during the pre-wars of Japanese uh, in, in Japan, uh, Genki's Khan sort of like rule over China and all those things. So of course Japan is also part of it, so when they were there, the Mongolians, they like red meat, they like lamb and all yeah. those. So if you mix them with the Japanese, you get the Genghis Khan, which is here. <laughs> One more thing, uh, this is our new recipe. It's, it's super simple. It's a tomato salad with the cold ramen sauce. So the tomato salad is for... It's actually to freshen up after you eat like uh, all this cooked meat, all this barbecue meat. It, it, it helps to freshen up your, your taste buds and everything else. You feel fresh. Huh? a mouthful to pronounce. It's called Taisho Yakiniku. But I have to ask you though, what does it actually mean? The meaning means public uh, meat barbecue. Yaki means the barbecue, Niku means the meat. Well, you know what? Enough talking. Staring at this food is making me so hungry. So I'm just gonna like, um, start eating, okay? You know, I love kimchi. At one point of my life, I was having kimchi every single day. Even though this is a Japanese restaurant, I like that they had a bit of Mongolia and a bit of Korea. This kimchi right here, as someone who eats kimchi quite a bit, perfect. Okay, moving on. So this is the famous cold ramen cooked with special sauce that he wouldn't reveal just now. And it's interesting because here you have a dash of mustard at the side to give it that tang. And I'm gonna try some. I'm about to cry right now because this is bringing me so much memories from my time in Kyoto and Osaka. Cold ramen is not easy to find in Malaysia. And this tastes like the real thing I had back in Japan. This meat here is grilled to perfection. I can't wait to try this. And of course, I have to have it with the secret sauce. So juicy, so succulent. I'm so full, but so grateful for this meal. It brought back so many memories when I was in Japan. But you know what? That's the end of the episode. Catch us next time in Makaminum Coffee. I'm Olivia Shen signing out.